Hello my friends, John LaRouf here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at Darwin's Journey. We're going to look at the collector's edition that you got if you kickstarted it. Plus, we'll also see what comes in some of the little packages along with that kickstarter edition. All right, let's go take a look. Okay, folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so let's look at the main game first here. This box is bursting with components, and it's kind of a shame that they show the, the board as kind of like an offset, which is too bad because there's so much going on in this board. I've already read the rules. It would, it, I, In my opinion, they should have put it front and center here, not kind of like, there's the game, but this is really important. No, I think it's more important to see the game and have that stuff as the minor thing, but... I'm not a publisher, I'm just a player, so all I can give you is my opinion. All right, this one took absolutely positively forever. Plain and simple. This Kickstarter, I remember doing this January of 2021, okay? And here we are, I'm unboxing it April of 2023. That's insane. All right, I got that out of my system. Okay, so let's look at what we got here for the collector's edition now. This is all... Kind of nice and tight in here, but the first thing I'll do is lay out this board, kind of get that out, because it is dripping with Euro goodness, right? I mean, this this definitely has all of the trappings of a game that has so much going on from a European standpoint, as far as mechanics and such. And this is a double-sided board. Holy cow, is this unruly. Okay, this is a double-sided board. Here is one side. My goodness. All right, so look at that. Now, that is a beautiful board. Sure, it might be busy, but that should scream fun. <laughs> at least it does for me. All right, so that should have been featured a little bit more prominently on the back of the box, if, you know, you think me. All right, then the other side has even more color and more stuff going on. Okay, and I think this is like the expansion side or the, I don't know if it's an expansion, but it's the other there's like more mechanics, I think, on this. So it totally looks like fun, doesn't it? I mean, I think so, obviously. All right, so now let's take a look at these rules. Now, these are a, this is a big rule book, okay? They did a decent job laying it all out. I will say that, all right? Um, but it's 50-something odd pages long. So, yeah, there's scenarios in the back. Okay, they changed it a little bit where they, they numbered it, um, you know, according to the... It changed a little bit from what I read. But basically, yeah, you're talking about like 56 pages of rules. Now, not all of it is the, the final game rules. So it's about 20 pages of actual game rules, which is sort of um, sort of regular. But what I think they did a great job in this, it's loaded with examples, and it's very well laid out, and it's easy to just kind of read all of the information. Now, after going through it, I'm not sure because I haven't played it yet, how easy it will it be for me to go from reading it to playing it, but I, I think they did a really good job trying their best to lay out a whole bunch of stuff that goes on in this game. And then they also include the solar rules, how the uh, Alfred bot works, the setup. I love how they show the setup right there. Nice, clear, so I know exactly what they're talking about. And then they give really just tons of examples of how he works. So... I am really hoping that all of that makes this play really well. And then all the expansions are listed in here also as far as how to play them. So now let's get into the pieces proper. So here's our double layered, our dual layered player boards. And I am now opening them up and I'm hoping, it makes me nervous as all get out that they are in a shrink wrap, which means that they are first now getting their first breath of fresh air into North America, which means these things are probably going to stand up on me like a saddle, but we'll see. Anyway, each of the back has the um, solo mode, and this is the easy one, and there's more difficult ones, but this is a very nice dual layered player board. I just hope it doesn't warp. All right, and then you can see that this is a different one over here by the marking. Um, and I think that they just have, you know, with regards to the challenge, it just depends on what the specifics are for what the actions and then lock, uh, icon unlocks and such and so forth like that. Okay, so this is all medium thickness cardboard here. The components are very nicely illustrated. 
I like the color. It kind of gives you an old world feel, but it still is bright and colorful, which I think is important. There's a lot of wax seals and things in this game that add color to this board. Um, and I'm glad they didn't just go with a drab, you know, kind of a older world feel. So it definitely has a little bit more brightness to it, which is cool. Here is our player aid. Woo! Wow. Well, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, all right. That makes some sense. I don't know what the heck that was, to be honest. Um, maybe that was like an index of where you read it or look it up. I'm, not, I'm really not sure. That, okay. Anyway, so we've got our punch boards here. Again, nice and colorful. So there's the green players board, the blue players board. Uh, looks like the yellow, or oops, yeah, yellow and then the red here, if I understand it correctly. And then we get into the collector's components. And this is where you get the bits and the boxes to hold everything, which is nice. <clears throat> so let's take a look at these. Got plenty of bags to hold things. Here's some nice screen printed bags here, which look really cool. All right. So those look nice. The metal coins. The wooden cubes here for little workers and for little glass beads, even though these are plastic, not glass. Let me just pick here. And then now these are a TP rubber wax kind of feel to them. So they're the wax seals that are a little bit more um, novel, I suppose. Now I hope they aren't, okay, they're just, they're not really stuck together. They're just, again, they're like a, a rubbery TPE, very soft touch material. Card wise, let's see what we got. Okay, thickness, I'd say they're average. Not too thin, not too thick. Uh, they have a little texture. You, you probably won't need to sleeve these if you're not a sleever like I am, but you know me, I'm a compulsive sleever. So we're gonna have a lot of that. We do have some nice artwork on here. They do look pretty. Um, and then, yeah, lots of different cards here, lots of stuff going on. And then this is the other deck here. <clears throat> this is gonna be the deck well, it looks like I see some actual um, crew cards in here, but I also see something that looks like the back of the Automa. Oh, we've got Alfred, I guess his name is. Come on, are you going to open it or are you going to be a pain in the neck? It's going to be a pain in the neck. All right. So on these, let's see. So here's our crew, which you can unlock. And then here are some of the different goal cards for, um, and action cards for the bot. So the bot is controlled through a deck of cards, deck of action cards. All right, and then just to finish off the unboxing here, we have more wooden stuff here. We've got wooden uh, tokens of different types. We have, um, yeah, all assortment of those and different ships here the different player ships, uh, more workers, and then finally some little bug and book looking workers and some little guys. All right, so lots of different things there. Now, let's see what we have in these other boxes here briefly. Okay, we're gonna have to use the tool. And now, for reading the rules, I am quite excited about this one. It looks like it's got a lot going on. There's a lot of linkages between things. There's a lot of bonus actions. Just very Euro-like in its design. Okay, so this is Falmouth Ports. Now we have some horses and some different port boards here up in the different player colors. What else? Um, okay, so a little explanation, rules explanation of how it works. Some 
more component cardboard there, and then just something to stack it and that, or to pack it, and that's it. And then finally, we have the Darwin Worker Mini Expansion. What do we have here? Okay, and in this, we have, all right, what is this? What's going on here? Okay, this little worker, who looks like Darwin sitting on a chair, if I can get him out of here, what in the world? How do you package that? Okay, well, maybe, yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's, yeah, there it is, it's Darwin walking, all right? Looking all aged and such, all right? And then here he is. And here's a little bag, and then a small little deck of cards corresponding to him truly and how to play it. So that's really small. Okay, lots of cool looking components. I'm very much looking forward to giving this one a try. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to do in the future, hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.